Python family. Welcome back to the channel. As y'all can see, we're in the rat shack today. Just want to go over a few little things that we got going on. We had to kind of cut back to restart everything on the rats due to mama's being too old, getting too many tumors. And we just had to go ahead and put them down and kind of start over. We still have a few mamas with us that are kind of old, maybe around the five month mark. So in another two months, we'll go ahead and get those going off. So we're gonna jump right on into it. As y'all can see up here, we did make us a little gas chamber. We got the little bicycle inner tube uh, nozzle with some bedding and we hooked the CO2 up to that and it works good. We have a few little modifications that I would like to do to it. One of them really being, I need to get a better seal on the top which I'm gonna have some of that rubber foam come in and we're gonna seal that up real nice. And the other thing is, the only thing I can really hook up to this pump as of right now is the 12 gram CO2 bottles and it needs three of them to kill 12 rats. So we're gonna go ahead and up that and get us a paintball gun, Tipman CO2 tank to go ahead and take care of that. That way we could throttle in a little more than about 32 grams is what I'm thinking it's gonna take. So we're gonna jump right on into it. We went ahead and amped up all the bins, cleaned them up, got them going. We got one male and three females in each bin. And as you can see, the females, they're still pretty young, but in another, I'd say about three weeks, two, two weeks they'll be pregnant, within six weeks they'll have rat pups. So we're doing good on that. And I have a few of them that are actually a little smaller, that way they'll go in line, right? Don't want them all popping at one time. So as you can see down here, we got them just a little bit smaller. Same thing. This is our male. This is our boy right here. And that's the three females back there. And we got nine tubs set up. So we got a total of, I think it's about 24 mamas. But we actually have a little more than that because I have two or three big mamas that we'll get to in a minute that are actually having pups now to kind of keep us going. And down in this bin, we only have two mamas. This is one of our older mamas. She is pregnant at the moment, as you can see. So we'll try to get her to go ahead and raise up these last pups. And she has a tumor on her neck, as y'all can see. So we have one other mama and a daddy in there with her. So all four of those are going good. Coming on to the other rack, we had our mama here just give us, what is it, nine pups, I believe. So that's good, we got her mixed in with another daddy, which is older, that big boy, and then two younger mama rats. I expect maybe one or two of them to come up missing, just due to them and new mamas, and they might freak out and be like, well, what are these things? But we'll keep y'all updated and see how that goes. We do not remove the daddy rat at all through the whole process. He's been doing this for about five or six months for us. He knows the deal. He just kind of stays away and gives mama some space. So coming on down here, we have another one of our big daddies in the corner and one of our big mamas. And all the other two is the ones we grown out. And these mamas are actually just about ready to get pregnant. This one and our white one. As you can see, she's a little feisty, but they will produce some good rat pups for us. This mama here is pretty old. She's been with us for a while. Coming on down. We have our new ones coming up. As you can see, they're a little sketched out. Coming on down, nice little rat pile. And these are a little bit younger. And we're gonna go ahead and raise them up for about another three weeks. And then six weeks from now, everything should be going good. And just with these two tubs, they have nine tubs. I got three mamas in each one, one papa. That puts us at about 24, and it's actually about 26 mama rats because I have a few other big ones mixed in there. So that should put us somewhere around 240 rats per month out of these two. We'll go ahead and load this one up probably in three weeks from now. No, six weeks from now, once they drop, we'll move some over. That way it can keep going into like a chain reaction. And then here we have some of our males. We have, I think, five more in here that we're probably going to go ahead and feed off. We don't need all the males. So that's going to be the quick update right now, fellas. Here at Drago's Pythons. If y'all aren't subscribed, fellas, y'all go ahead and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. 
If there's anything y'all are wanting to know, have questions, comments, or concerns, y'all go ahead and drop them down in the comments. Until next time, Python family.